Hi, it's Dr. Mike. I got a very surprising question today. Is masturbation good or bad? I recommend masturbation for so many reasons, for both men and for women. We, we know that for men, masturbation is fantastic because it actually can prevent prostate cancer. Uh, we, we know that men who are having uh, at least a couple orgasms a week or more are actually getting the toxins out of their body uh, because, uh, because of some of the toxins in the body that can store up in semen and, and ejaculate can actually get those toxins out. But it's not just a biological need. Psychologically, it's so amazing what happens to both the male and female body, their brains, their sex organs when they have sex. It really is a use it or lose it situation. Uh, for women, uh, using uh, both a vibrator and, and, and a dildo can actually keep things elastic. It can actually strengthen your pelvic floor. That means when you have sex with your partner, it's going to make the orgasms more intense as opposed to not masturbating and just waiting for sex. It can release all of these feel good hormones, endorphins, oxytocin, all of these things that make you feel so good that can also prevent uh, pain. It can actually make you feel a lot less sensitive to pain. So whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, whether you are using masturbation uh, to feel good, if you're using it to discharge sexual tension, if you are using it to practice, you know what's really interesting is that masturbation can make you a better lover as you get to know your body. Can you use masturbation to speed up your orgasm, slow it down. Can you bring yourself to the edge, practice what I call edging, uh, bringing yourself to that point almost of no return and then bringing yourself back. For men, uh, a really easy technique is the squeeze technique where you bring yourself to that point where you're almost to the point of no return and then you squeeze using your thumb and two fingers uh, the, the head of the penis which will usually bring that uh, sensation back. For women, can you do the same thing? Can you bring yourself to the point of no return? Or if you are multi-orgasmic, can you have one orgasm and then work yourself to another? And can you figure out which kind of orgasms you like to have, clitoral, vaginal, uh, cervical? And, and, and knowing all about your body so that when you do find that partner or you can return to your partner, you can help them to know what makes you tick and what turns you on. Wishing you a life filled with lots of sex, passion, and love. It's Dr. Mike.